It was there all this time. All we did was tempt it. The same way a surfer tempts fate. Or tempts a shark by trying to outswim it. <laughs> a for effort. We crafted spears against beasts, built walls against spears, ladders against walls, and towers against ladders. After that, we built boats, ramparts, chimneys, shaving foam pie catapults, and when all our trash threatened to swallow even our highest spires, we built... a spaceship. Powered by nothing less than the destruction of our own planet. The preparations took decades. What was meant to be an ark became a home. My home. Elysium. None of us ever thought there were thousands of clueless survivors down in that trash. Our bastion of hope became a herald of doom for Deponia. Fortunately, the tables turned. One of those clueless people foiled the plan. <laughs> He saved Deponia and all who were left behind. And he saved me by falling for me. Literally. The end. Oh! Oh, you don't like this ending? Still hoping for something more... upbeat? Well, it's like I said. Endings and sharks. Don't tempt them. Though... I've got to admit, even after all this time, I, I keep asking myself, if I was able to turn back time, what would I change? What would be the better ending? Or do I just want it to never end? This place was pure hell. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Where was it these days? I had to leave old Jeremiah behind. <laughs> His own damn fault. I'd have to give it to him. He was as fast as they came at changing a tire. But he was too damn slow at getting me a slushy. At least we shook those rattling few locks. Organon had sealed the door to the blast tower. As if to say, if anyone is gonna blow this planet to hell, then it's gonna be us. What a joke.
The bolt didn't look like you could saw through it, but I got this far and I was going to finish it to the end. of the road for me. The thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall and fulfilled already. Let me help you fill the gap in memory. Living in the waste was not to your taste, but soon you will gaze truth straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the sage, it's evident there will be no happy end. Suck it up, princess. No one cares for your tears. It's over, and I've no dance to give for second thoughts that you're stuck with. Looking for loopholes and wondering what if. Nightmare. I was old. 
it had a mustache. All my friends were dead, and Elysium had fallen from the sky. Also, I grew the pony eyes. Talk about sick. I mean, a mustache? Really? Ah, luckily, everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet Tony about it. Bubble wrap from the post office. What was I going to do with it again? Eh, whatever. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. Sweet! The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! Tony won't believe her eyes. <laughs> I better get her crystal glasses back. Not that anything would happen to them. Time to get to work. No, stop! This seems vaguely familiar somehow. That's exactly the way things happened in my dream. I had forgotten the bubble wrap, and that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I uncovered an organ on conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. These visions aren't all bad. I should become a prophet. Nina, Nina, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> huh? Hey, stop! You can't park here. You. Oh boy! Somehow my vision missed this. Hey. You there! Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from it. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh yeah? Well, I couldn't agree more. But since you're here... Who are you anyway? My name is Irrelevant. Just ignore me. I'd love to, Mr. Irrelevant. Strictly speaking, I'm actually not meant to be talking to you, at least as long as it isn't quite clear whether or not we belong in the same universe. Signs are kind of pointing toward no. Even minor contact is to be avoided at all costs. Do you understand? No contact. What are you doing there anyway? You don't want to know that, believe me. <laughs> totally. Then stop asking me questions. No contact. It's essential. What have you done? I'm not allowed to talk about that, it's... One minute, what did I just do? You destroyed my girlfriend's glasses when you parked! Heavens to Betsy! Do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions! Yeah, but she usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me! I'm talking about ash rain, magma flows, perpetual darkness! Yeah, that sounds about right. You've met Tony. Got it. But that doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. I must do something. After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility, but it would be very dangerous. Yikes! You don't mean... Yes, there's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I will... No! <laughs> Turn back time. No! You... What? Oh, I thought you wanted to apologize, but your suggestion sounds better. Good thinking. Bravo. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand me correctly. I said that I'm going to travel back in time. Yeah, go ahead. Super plan. But you aren't surprised at all? You must have a million questions, surely. Oh, uh, okay. 
What are you doing there anyway? I'm looking for time anomalies. Well, you found one. I don't want to brag, but I'm almost a singularity myself. My display begs to differ. Naturally. I'm talking about a time split. That's serious. It's like a split end. In time. Well, my hair is healthy and vigorous. The quantum foam is almost boiling. Something terrible has happened, and it might repeat itself in perpetuity. <laughs> you sound like my girlfriend, Tony. Who are you, anyway? My name is McCronicle. I work at Junk Trade University in Porta Rustica. You're a professor? Of what? Stupid hats? My area of expertise is temporal physics. I'm researching anomalies in the fourth axis of space-time. Really? Then you could probably answer a time-related question for me. Very possibly. When, dear Mr. McComicon? Yes? When? When did I ask you for your life story? What happened to no contact? Well, it's a bit late for that now. The unspeakable has occurred, but we can make it unoccur if we follow my plan. Bring rubber boots back into fashion? Nonsense. I mean... Turn back time. Say, do you keep hearing that strange sound too? What's the square root of 237169? 487. But I actually meant another sort of question. One where the solution isn't so obvious, I know. Well, what do you mean, turn back time? As I said, I have invented a device which can avoid accidents after they've happened. It saves an image of the space-time before our reverse park. You invented a time machine and used it as a parking assistant? You, Macrona Crispies, are a four-dimensional wuss. Actually, I really shouldn't be using it. Just imagine if this technology were to get into irresponsible hands. Yes, that would be bad. Where do I turn this thing on? I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my turning this crank here? No! Wait! Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? What's this little itch on my fontanelle? Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Rufus! Huh? What? Wait a minute, I know you. You're Mr. McCromnickel. McCronicle? But that means you remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who ran over the glasses. Astounding. Not half as astounding as your lousy face furniture. But while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? Let's talk about that in a minute. Could you help me to park first, please? I don't want to repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just now. You mean soon, no? It would have been just now, right now. Oh, great. This could turn out to be another one of those days. You ready? Sure. What the hell? Hit it! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ha! What? Didn't I just see an elephant? Something strange is going on here. Huh? What? Oh no, not again! 